Hi, I'm Brian Kennedy, Applications Engineer with the iCoupler Digital Isolation Group at Analog Devices. I'd like to discuss how to minimize radiated emissions from digital isolators. If you've used optocouplers, which run at relatively slow data rates, you may not have been concerned much about radiated emissions when you laid out your PC board. As you migrate to higher speed digital isolators, you'll begin to realize that board layout is critical to controlling emissions from high speed signals. Here's a simple test setup using an oscilloscope and FFT mode to measure emissions with the near field probe up to 1 gigahertz. I've taken a 1 inch square loop of wire on a shielded BNC cable and connected it to the 50 ohm input of the scope. Here's a simple board laid out with no consideration that it will need to support high speed data. It has only two layers with no dedicated power and ground planes. For these tests, let's run the board at 10 megabits per second to create large emissions. As I hold the near field probe just above the digital isolator, you can see some peaks at about 120 megahertz that go as high as 60 dB. The emissions come from how the data is transmitted across the isolation barrier. Some methods use high current pulses with fast edges, and other methods use modulated RF signals. In either case, the emissions are coming from the power traces on the board. These high frequency currents reach isolated ground planes and create a dipole that can radiate at these peak frequencies. Now let's take a look at a board that was designed with some commonly used best practices. The peak emissions have been reduced to about 40 dB, and that's a difference of 20 dB, a significant improvement. This improved board has two layers, with layer two as a ground plane and layer three as a power plane, and a thin 0.15 millimeter dielectric of FR4 in between. These inner power and ground layers have a small overlap that creates about 150 picofarads of stitching capacitance across the isolated ground planes that can dramatically reduce emissions. This stitching capacitance is on an inner layer in the PCB to avoid issues of creepage and clearance on the surface of the board. This layout is so effective that most digital isolators can easily pass FCC Class A and Class B emission limits. In summary, even though digital isolators run at speeds much higher than typical optocouplers, it's still possible to limit emissions in frequencies up to 1 GHz. We've shown you some ways you can design a board using our iCoupler digital isolators and minimize radiated emissions. Thank you for watching. For more information about iCoupler products, please visit analog.com slash iCoupler.